Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about Kirchhoff's equation. We know that every reaction is associated with some quantity of heat energy that is also called enthalpy of the reaction. And we know that heat energy or enthalpy is a function of temperature that means it depends on the temperature as well. So to prove this fact, Kirchhoff gave an equation that relates the heat energy or enthalpy with the temperature that is called Kirchhoff's equation. So in this video, we are going to derive that expression and we are going to see what Kirchhoff actually gave. So let's start. To find the Kirchhoff's equation, let's consider a reaction A to B, where this A is the reactant and B is the product. The enthalpy of reactant A is H1 and the enthalpy of product B is H2. Then obviously the change in enthalpy will be equal to del H is equal to H2 minus H1. This is what we know, right? Now we know that the change in enthalpy of a reaction is given by enthalpy of a reaction is given by del H is equal to del E plus P D V. We know that enthalpy is a thermodynamic variable that relates internal energy and pressure volume work done. I have already made a video about enthalpy. If you haven't watched that already, please check the link in the description below where you can find that video. Now we can find out the Kirchhoff's equation at constant pressure as well as at constant volume. First of all, let's find out the Kirchhoff's equation at constant volume. I have already written the formula of change in enthalpy and we know that at constant volume del V will be equal to 0 right so we get del H is equal to del E that means the total heat content of the system depends on the internal energy change right and we know that if E1 and E2 are the internal internal energies of reactant and product then del E will be equal to how much? Yes, you are correct. E2 minus E1, right? So this is what we know. Now, let's differentiate this equation at constant volume with respect to temperature. Then what do we get? Let's see that. Differentiating differentiating at constant volume volume with respect to temperature then we get del del e by del t at constant volume v del e2 by del t at constant volume v minus del e1 by del t at constant volume v so we get this much of the value now we know that the quantity let me write over here okay we know that the quantity del e by del t is called the molar heat capacity at constant volume this is called molar heat capacity at constant volume right this is called molar heat capacity at constant volume so if we replace this del e by del t by this cv then this equation will be reduced to del del e sorry del e by del t at constant volume v will be equal to cv2 minus cv1 and it can be written as del cv right so this is what we get Let's consider this to be equation number 1. This is the differentiated form of Kirchhoff's equation. Let me write over here. Equation 1 is the differentiated, differentiated K 
किड्स इक्वेशन किड्स इक्वेशन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द किड्स इक्वेशन now let's find the integrated kirchhoff's equation as well because that is very important to find for that let me erase this portion this equation 1 is the differentiated kirchhoff's equation to find out the integrated form of it obviously we have to integrate this equation but before that for finite change for finite change this equation can be written as d del e is equal to this del t will go that side so it will be del c v into dt now integrating integrating at respective limits if we integrate this equation this will be like this d del e is equal to del c v into dt the limit is del e1 to del e2 t1 to t2 then we get del e2 minus del e1 right here it will be del cv because this is a constant quantity and t2 minus t1 if we take this value to this side we get del cv is equal to del e2 minus del e1 by t2 minus t1 so this is the integrated equation of kirchhoff that is integrated kirchhoff's equation where del e2 is the internal energy change at temperature t2 and del e1 is equal to internal energy change at temperature t1 so this is one of the kirchhoff's equation let us consider this to be equation number 2 now let's find the kirchhoff's equation at constant pressure we know that at constant pressure the change in heat energy of the reaction is equal to the change in enthalpy itself right because this quantity will not change also we know del h will be equal to h2 minus h1 where this h1 is the enthalpy of reactant and h2 is the enthalpy of product now let's differentiate differentiating this equation this equation at constant pressure with respect to temperature then what do we get del del h by del t at constant pressure will be equal to del h2 by del t at constant pressure minus del h1 by del t at constant pressure so we get this form here this quantity del h by del t is actually equal to cp cp means molar heat capacity at constant pressure so this quantity del h by del t is actually called the molar heat capacity at constant pressure but if we replace this value with cp then what do we get let's see that del h by del t at constant pressure will be equal to cp2 minus cp1 where this cp1 is the molar heat capacity at constant pressure of reactant and cp2 is of the product then what do we get over here this we can be written as del del h by del t at constant pressure will be written as del cp this is the third equation and this equation is called differentiated equation of kirchhoff or kirchhoff's differentiated equation this is one of the uh, this is one of the equation that kirchhoff gave now let's integrate this equation integrating integrating equation 3 we get to integrate obviously we have to write it in another form that is d del as will be equal to del cp into dt this del t will become dt and it will come over here 
let's integrate them in the respective limit del h1 to del h2 and here t1 to t2 then what do we get let, uh, let me write directly okay we have because we have already seen for constant volume as well so it will be del c p is equal to del h2 minus del h1 by t2 minus t1 this is the integrated form of kirchhoff's equation at constant pressure here this del h2 is the enthalpy change of the reaction at temperature t2 and this del h1 is the enthalpy change of the reaction at temperature t1 so these are the kirchhoff's equation kirchhoff's equation are very important for many numerical problems as well i hope you understood everything about this that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video